welcome to another vlog. I figured I would do like a vlog style video. I don't know if I want to hold the camera, put the camera down. But I figured I would do a vlog style video today. We're going on a little trip for Easter, going away for Easter. By the time this vlog is up, we'll already be back home. I already have some videos prepped for when we're going to be away. But we'll be back home by the time this video is up. We want to go away, visit family for Easter, spend some time with family. It was my sister's 40th birthday yesterday. My brother and sister both share a birthday on the same exact day. They're not twins. They were born two years apart, but they just share a birthday. Um, and then it's my mom's birthday. My husband's birthday is this month. My sister-in-law's birthday is this month. Uh, so many April birthdays. My father-in-law's birthday is uh, literally tomorrow. So many April birthdays. My sister-in-law's birthday was the beginning of this month. April is like jam-packed with a lot of family birthdays. I feel like every family has like one month of the year where they have a lot of birthdays. For us, it's April, I would say. And then maybe October. No, it's like mainly April. April is like where all the fun happens, you guys. Um, but today's video, I kind of wanted to do like a, not like a self-care video, but just get ready for the trip. So I spent all week kind of getting the house ready like i personally like to come home to no laundry so i did all the laundry like wash the bed sheets the um, bed quilts whatever you want to call them and just to make sure everything is nice and fresh it's such a great feeling to come home from a trip and into straight into fresh bed sheets no laundry you know just trying to care, take care of things like that and packed all of my clothes like figured out my outfits i had to try everything out i don't know if anybody else is like this but I personally like to try things on just to make sure they look like look good on paper if you will because in my mind they might look good but then i tried it and i'm like yeah i don't know i'm not i'm not crazy about it so i like put together a few outfits you know that i thought would be cute and then tried them on packed them so today i gotta pack the kids clothes my husband's clothes a lot of fun stuff but aside from that i want to do like you know lashes i want to do my own lashes i want to wash the hair because i have a self tan on so i have to wash that off that's like another thing i did and tint the eyebrows good morning sleepyhead so yeah that's kind of on the agenda for today's video by the way i finally added some prints to these photos every time i walk in this room it just makes such a difference i definitely wish i did it sooner and i my good friend took these candid lovely photos of us and I made them black and white. I printed them from Amazon Photos. I'm actually working on editing that video right now. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. And drink my coffee. I oversteamed the milk initially. I was letting it cool down, but now it's like so much better. So while everyone is still kind of sleeping and slowly waking up, I'm gonna sit here and do that and then kind of like take you guys through all this fun stuff that I just talked about, but that was my little chatty chatty good morning conversation with you guys taking a little coffee break made myself a i usually do this with matcha but i was too lazy to you know whip the matcha up basically what it is is a blueberry syrup homemade blueberry syrup so good some coconut milk and espresso shot love these glasses found them on amazon i think they're so cute and anything with this blueberry syrup is so delicious for summertime i don't know why it's so dark but i went ahead and packed all the kids clothes i'm trying to upload the vlog right now that i finished editing you guys, this is so delicious. The video is just about uploaded. I wanted to show you guys kind of like my thought process behind how I pack and things like that. My stuff I packed yesterday, and what I do is I like to always check on the weather. I think the weather does change, but for the most part, it's kind of going to stay the same. So I always look at the weather, and like for example, Monday is going to be pretty cold compared to the other days. So I kind of like plan accordingly and actually plan outfits for everyone, believe it or not. And then I try my outfits on because I want to make sure that they actually don't just look good in my head, but actually look good when I try them on. And I will bring outfits that I can kind of like swap pieces out. Same with the kids. Like if they don't like a shirt and they want to wear a different pair of pants, they can do that. Same with me. Like let's say I don't want to wear that shirt. I just want to wear... I want to wear a sweater instead so i kind of like bring outfits that i can easily mix and match no matter what but i do like plan different outfits and i'll take a few extras as well as some sweaters because again you never know with the weather so all the kids stuff fit in here perfectly and we're only going for um, like less than a week so this actually works out great this is my daughter aviana's eloisca's josiah's and i actually did it by outfit and i have like some extras pjs obviously their underwear socks whatever so that's kind of the thought process behind that no, my straw, my glasses. 
is true. Oh my gosh. I had like seven glass straws. The kids broke a few of them. And um, as I was closing the door, this one fell and goodbye. This is the last glass straw that I have. Let me clean this up because it's actually glass. So let me go grab the vacuum. Well, that was my last straw. Literally. I probably wouldn't recommend glass straws. Honestly, I feel like especially with kids, they can just be a little bit dangerous. Not the best option. I just like that they are clear and I can see through them. I remember SMLX was saying one time, I think she accidentally drank a bee. <laughs> so yeah, that's definitely something that I worry about. I feel like drinking outside, obviously in the house. I don't know, who knows? Like there could be like a fly flying around that you don't know and then he sits in your drink and drowns and then there you go. Put that thought in your head, but <laughs> I also put together our Easter sun Easter Sunday outfits. It's gonna be a little bit colder on Sunday, so I'm trying to like plan accordingly. And I felt like this would be it's Easter-ish. I wore it on Thanksgiving before as well. And then this bag is from Bag Inc. I've never worn it before, and I'm literally only taking it because it matches the color scheme. It's like a Chanel look-alike situation, like it has the same vibes as Chanel. And this is for the boys, just kind of like blues, blacks, some of that just everything coming together nicely but i'm gonna actually take off the self tan now wash it off wash the hair and i'm gonna use a detox shampoo clarifying detox shampoo from away let me actually show you guys in the other bathroom hello hello so at this point i have tried both way and orbe when it comes to like more luxury type hair care brands they're not necessarily salon hair care brands but they're like almost like premium hair care brands and i have really been liking Way hair care. I have the shampoo and conditioner for fine hair. They have fine, medium, and thick or coarse. So I like that they have different sets for different hair types because a lot of times, like with fine, thin hair, you don't want to use products that are going to weigh it down. They're just, you know, not every, there's like a little fruit fly flying around. Like what is, what, where, where, why? Hair products are not a one size fits all. So I do like that. And then I also got the detox shampoo right here. So I am not a fan of how the original shampoo and conditioner smells. I feel like, I don't know, I'm just not crazy about it. I don't like the smell, but this one actually smells really nice. And this one you use in place of your con uh, shampoo once a week. And it's supposed to help cleanse the scalp. I do have a scalp scrub from Orbe, but I've read reviews where people say they really struggle with like an oily scalp and that has helped them, especially if you have hard water. We do have a water softener, but uh, I don't know, I'm gonna give it a try and see because with extensions especially, you know, I don't want to wash my hair too much, but I have fine thin hair so my hair gets greasy and oily like by the end of the day, by day two for sure. And I don't want to use dry shampoo too much because then I feel like I'm just slapping all this product on already greasy, oily hair and it's like clogging the hair follicles and all this stuff. So I don't really want to overuse the dry shampoo. So I'm gonna give that a try and see how it goes. But I have been loving way hair care. So I'm gonna wash my hair and then talk through some products that I use when I get out of the shower as well. Fresh out of the shower, I feel like the tan developed nicely and I did already apply some Luxon Filtered Gradual Self Tanning Lotion. I'm almost all out of this one, but I like using this. It has a nice scent. It is a gradual self tanner, so you do have to wash your hands as well after you're done like applying it everywhere. But I like to use it to kind of like help maintain the tan. I would take it with me, but I literally have none left. So I'm just gonna take the tanning drops. That way when I'm away, I can just add it to lotion. And instead of doing like the whole self tanning routine, you can just use the tanning drops to kind of like upkeep the tan. Just make sure to wash the hands. So now onto the hair care. This is actually my husband's robe, don't mind. I just like how it's like this terry cloth material and it kind of like absorbs all the water. Mine is like this fuzzy one with like a faux fur collar. It goes more so towards the winter. So I decided to wear his instead, but I'm using this super wide tooth comb to kind of like detangle the hair, brush through the extensions gently. And this is when I'll go in and apply all of my hair products and then blow, let my hair kind of air dry. I would say maybe like 75% or so, maybe more. I'm gonna use the leave-in conditioner. And I do like this, but I would not use it liberally if you have fine thin hair. But because I have hair extensions, they can tend to be a little bit drier than you know natural hair so i'll do a few spritz throughout the ends of the hair extensions just to kind of hydrate them and add in some hydration moisture all that fun stuff and then i'll go in with the whey volume spray this one is it is pretty scented i'm not gonna lie i like the scent but it can be a little bit overwhelming and kind of give like i can be a little bit sensitive to smells certain perfumes if they're too overwhelming i'll get a headache um, but it does go away it does have like a nice scent it's not like they're 
signature scent, if you will. Um, but I did want to point that out because it is it is pretty perfumey, especially when you're like applying it all over the hair. But I have noticed such a huge difference between when I use this and when I don't. My hair still feels manageable and soft when I use it, but I can definitely feel as if like the hair shafts have thickened. So this is probably currently my favorite volume spray that I've tried because I have tried the Orbe one, which I used to love, but I feel like that one almost started to dry my hair out sometimes. I don't know, maybe it was just me. So I decided to give this one a try and I'm glad that I did because I actually really, really like it. And it's been working, working for me just fine. And then I have the Whey hair oil as well, which I use literally, literally, like just a, one pump, a smidge. And I'll kind of rub it through. Like I know right here I have some dry strands in my own hair. The extensions a little bit because the extensions can be a little bit drier and kind of like run it through like so and that is it for hair products i'll let my hair air dry for you know a half an hour or so and then when it's like a little bit more dry i'll go in and do dry the crown area and then I'll let the extensions air dry the rest of the way but right now meanwhile while my hair is air drying i figured it would be the perfect time to do lashes i'm like in my natural element no lashes makeup but this is about to be a big transformation because i feel like lashes make such a huge difference especially volume lashes so i have these right here that i'm going to be trying in today's video and these are from the brand finey dreamy i have tried their other volume style which was a little bit like whisperer on the ends and the lash fibers on those kind of crisscrossed whereas on these the lash fibers all go in one direction and i'm really excited about these because they seem to have a really beautiful curl they are the same exact lash as the muse lash from aliexpress but even curlier i compare the two and these have even more of a decurl than those and they have like a nice fluffiness to them they are a volume lash they do have like more of that stiff rigid band kind of like easy tension which i'm not too crazy about but i always love a fluffy lash so we're gonna give these a try i have a cartridge of 12 millimeters and 10 millimeters i got shorter sizes because i want to go for like a short full look so that's my thought process behind that and i'm going to be using the Kalela's bond in lock just because this glue seemed to give me really good hold and i'm going to do something i don't usually do which is actually apply glue to my natural lashes and almost run it through just because i want these to be secure i am going to take them with me and take an applicator and lash glue with me just in case i need to reapply any segments but i want them to stay on as long as possible and with stiffer rigid bands sometimes because they don't kind of like curve with your eye shape they can lift faster um so i'm just gonna do i'm gonna do the most to try to keep these on and make them as secure as possible so I'm going to dab some glue. Well, it's kind of hard to dab because it like almost runs through your own lashes on its own. And then I'm going to let that sit there for a little bit and then go in with a second coat and then dab a little bit more. So let me wait. And then go in and kind of dab at the base. Then I'm also going to take the lash segments and apply some glue to the lash segment. Look at this beautiful, beautiful curl on these lashes. Just such a gorgeous, gorgeous curl. I'm going to apply some glue to the lash band as well because like I said, I'm going to do the most and try to have these be as secure as possible. These are like insanely curly. These are like Russian volume curly, curly, curly. These seem like they're going to be really pretty, so I'm really excited. Okay, the lashes are all done and I never thought that I would say this, but I almost feel like these are too curly. I have never tried lashes this curly. Like here is an up close. I did a 12, a 12, a 10, and a 10. I tried doing 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, and a 10. It was just looking kind of funky. And I don't know, they are a little bit stiff and rigid and like plasticky, so they don't really bend naturally with the eye shape but i love the fluffiness and the volume um so i'm not sh too sure how i feel about them like i feel like i have like a love-hate relationship there's some things that i like and some things that i'm like not too crazy about but they are mega mega curly like really 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 curly and here is from far away kind of what they look like i don't know i'm still kind of getting used to them i almost feel like it shortens my eye and makes my eye look a little bit shorter 
and just because most lashes that are c-curl they kind of go like this and they flare out at the ends also depending on the lash style whereas these they curl inward so it almost like shortens my eye they just curl inward so much that they don't really flare out giving me like that elongated cat eye look so i think that's maybe what's throwing me off but otherwise very fluffy very curly they have the volume they're just very rigid um and like structured and almost like plasticky if you will so love hate relationship in my opinion i'm not going to do my nails just yet i'm actually debating whether i want to do my nails or not because i got a few a few things from double dip nails so i want to try dip I've never tried dip before so i might save my nails and do that in like a dedicated video and just leave my nails as is and then last but not least i do want to tint the eyebrows as well which i use the gold for a tint kit I know a lot of you guys recommended like beard tinting kits which are so much cheaper but I already have the gold for a one so I want to use it up and I think that's what I'm gonna do right now hey guys good morning it's actually in the next day made my adrenal sunrise cocktail situation of sorts and I have to say this is my first time making it with coconut water because I found some pretty decent coconut water at Walmart I actually prefer it with coconut milk it just tastes like an orange creamsicle I'm not used to this flavor here but last night uh, or yesterday after I don't know what the last clip was but it just got kind of when you're packing and doing a lot of things it just can't get super busy so we ended up going grocery shopping getting stuff for the road like snacks things that we needed and then coming home managed to do another load of laundry i literally thought i was done but it collected like the kids laundry i combined it with ours and just did it real quick there was like one more load to do so i feel like now i can officially say there's no more laundry at least for now and just like you know packed all that fun stuff so i didn't get to do my brows and i figured i'll just wake up super early before everybody else and do them right now i took the kids forever to fall asleep you guys like for I, this whole week i don't know why they go to bed at like midnight or later it's crazy but let me go ahead and take off these patches and um tip my eyebrows before we go so be nice and fresh and I am taking my frownies with me. I'm trying to be as consistent as possible. I have been liking them. You know, it keeps my forehead nice and smooth while I'm sleeping. Kind of like a preventative measure more than anything, I feel like. And this is the kit that I use. It is the Go For A Tint Kit off of Amazon. And I have the color light brown. This is the powder. And I'm gonna squeeze some developer in here. I kind of eyeball it at this point, but they do have an instruction manual which is very helpful especially if this is your first time and then mix this all together to create the paste and then apply it directly to your brows it does transfer to the skin so you know be wary of that when you are tinting your brows so if you outline them like way too thick then it's going to remain on your skin for about i would say three four five six seven days and then slowly it starts to fade so i'll create an outline first i try to follow the natural shape of the brows but this one is a little higher and it's more like straight whereas this one's a little more arched and has like a big pretty high arch right here so i try to outline them in a way that will make them as even as possible It's only been about a minute, but I think I'm going to go ahead and wipe them off because I don't want them to be too dark. I forgot to mention this in the beginning, but I like to brush my brow hairs up because this is kind of how I 
do my style my brows in general so I'm gonna go in right here do you see how it tints the skin though there are some areas that I want to go in and fill in so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and this is the after once they're completely done brushed upwards I'm gonna use like a conditioning brow conditioner solution that I have and usually they're good to go for like about a week like this they do start to fade this brow is always easier for me than this one because this one doesn't have a lot of brow hairs here it's just the tint but I don't know, I've been loving this kit, so I keep purchasing it one of these days. I do have to try like the beard, um, like the beard. I know, we do. Alright, my husband's finally awake, so we're gonna get going, get, get pack everything, and slowly wake the kids up, pack all the food. We're gonna make like sandwiches on the road, all that fun stuff, so I think I'm gonna finish the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me. I will link anything down below as always. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the future video.